All right, we're going to erase these two computers for network booting. We got PXE environment menu that I built. That one right there is damn small Linux. That's what we're going to be booting through the network. Gives you a little read up on it. Blah, 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 etc., etc. But yeah, everything's running from there. Got network activity monitor running. We're going to see how much. Uh, Faster one is in the other. We're gonna here I'll put these down and start them. So I can start them at the same time. Alright, damn small Linux, damn small Linux. One, two, three, start. And they're off. It's about a fifty meg file that's gotta load over the network. Let's see which one wins. This one's about 200 megahertz slower than this one. They're both Pentium 3s. I think one's rocking 192 megs, and I think the other one's got 228 or something like that. Or, uh, I'm sorry, 256. For some reason, I think the slower one's winning. Network monitor going through the roof. All that sent through. <laughs> Still racing. Oh, the slower one won again. That's crazy. This fire is loading the kernel. Let's see which one. Uh, look at that. It's bizarre. Yeah, I see, that's where the processing speed comes into play. Huh? Oh, oh my god. Pretty damn close, if you ask me. It's all loaded directly to memory, it's not using the hard drives at all. The only file system it has is a 50 meg RAM disk. And all that is literally getting run through that computer. It's running two operating systems right now through my Linksys router, or my Netgear router over there. Pretty slick, huh? We're going to try to do a hard drive stall now, so wish me luck.